maximum you'll have to I'll be a loopo, better translated. Have good luck and have a great time. Love you and we'll talk to you soon. So when we arrived, uh, there's now six people aboard the station. I've already introduced you to Roman Romanenko, um, Russian cosmonaut. Gennady Padalka, also a Russian cosmonaut. This was his third long-duration space flight. Uh, while we were up there, he celebrated his 500th day in space. Mike Barrett, a NASA astronaut, also a medical doctor. A real delight to fly with. You already know Frank Duena, who um, is getting a haircut here and um, became the commander after Gennady left the station. And my good friend, Koichi Wakata, from Japan. We're just doing silly astronaut tricks. <laughs> it's a sumo wrestling match. <laughs> the station, from a research point of view, is complete. Filled with a certain uh, polymer gel, and whenever uh, the gel takes a hit by an incoming neutron particle, it generates a bubble. There's also an educational experiment by some university students um, where they ask me to look at some ambiguous uh, figures, like this could be a book that's facing you or a book that's facing away from you. And uh, this could, you could be looking at this uh, cube from above or below, and uh, this dancer could be spinning to the right or to the left, and this ball could be spinning forward or backwards. Anyways, their hypothesis was that uh, once you adapt, your brain adapts to zero G, that your perception uh, of these, uh, of the orientation of these objects or the spin of these objects changes.